What's going on guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Ottawa Senators and right before free agency here had ourselves another good draft. It's time to try to get that locker room chemistry uh, settled essentially. So we're going to do our best to do that this year. But before we get started, we got a couple things to take care of. I did not show the awards in the last one. Didn't want to show them at the end of the video. So we're going to do that now here and there's a cool little surprise which we'll see probably near the end. So Stanley Cup went to Philly. Uh, Chicago got the presidents and Colorado and Philadelphia fought it out for the Stanley Cup. All right, and Patrick Kane with the Art Ross, the Hart. Uh, Boakfist got the Norris. Okay, so... Wait. Was he even the ones I was thinking of? Maybe. Um, <laughs> Lady Bing went to Patrick Kane. Uh, Calder Memorial went to Suzuki. I told you. I told you. It honestly, it should go to that to to freaking Odinger. Ugh, all right, Con Smythe went to a Carter Hart, uh, Vesna to Rene, William M Jennings to Carter Hart, uh, Yulson got the Bill Masterton. All right, O'Reilly two years running with the Aselki. Uh Ted Lindsay went to Patrick Kane, and uh, Oliver Wallstrom with the Maurice Richard. So there we go. And we're going to check one thing here. Team Awards. Belleville won the Calder Cup. There you go. They uh, they did some, yeah, they had some success there. Our young guys down there in the uh, AHL, well, some of them young, other guys more uh, veteran types, uh, got themselves <laughs> a W there for the Calder Cup. So there we go. Good stuff. Okay. Um. All right, now before we get into free agency, which uh, I do appreciate all your guys' comments on that, gave me some uh, some good kind of ideas and, and directions to take. But before we do that, we got four winners to announce from last year. Now, again, no one got the clean sweep, and I blame Dumba for that completely because <laughs> he threw everything off. Who the hell was going to think Dumba would get the most points out of defenseman? Literally no one. So, rough go right there. Anyway, so first up is uh, Likenson Gibson, who guessed Shabbat for the team league, and goaltender Vasilevsky, because we had like a three-way tie. Weirdly, Masterton won the, uh, or sorry, Hart won the Masterton. We didn't have him up there. Anyway, I'll get to that in a second. Check out why that's uh, a thing. Next up, we got uh, Finn Cox, uh, who guessed uh, Shabbat, and uh, Bob Roski. I guess that's a thing now. Uh, Bob, Bob Roski for the goaltender. Uh, next up, Swagalicious Gaming, uh, Team League Hot Sam Bacho and uh, Vasilevsky. And last but not least, we got uh, Chase Sig here who guessed uh, Marner for the Team League for forwards, which was right, and Bob Rofsky. And it does say edited, but he had it right there. Uh, he just had a weird spelling on the name, and he just edited that. So I, I was able to catch that. But yeah, usually if you do make a weird misspelling, just delete that comment. And put in a new one just in case I don't catch it and I think you're trying to cheat. All right. Anyway, so time for the free agency. Uh, before we do that, actually, I just want to see what the heck with Carter Hart was about because we did have someone who guessed Hart, but we didn't have him up there. Although he won the match, was it just not enough games played? I kind of want to see what's up with that because if it was very low games played, then let's see 65. Oh, it's his save percentage that was really low. 137 goals against. But Borowski had less goals. Yeah, interesting. Hold on. It was 60 games, so should he have been up there. Let's take a look. If I, it, The save percentage is really low. And we go by the overall stats, not just who's going to win a trophy. So, I mean, even Rene had less goals against, but because... Ah, I, yeah, I don't know how it judges the... Uh, the... the ma or William, no, whatever it is. I mean, that's a fantastic record and everything. But the save percentage is quite low compared to the other ones. I mean, 0.04 when the other ones are only up by 0.01 or 0.02. It's close. I don't know. Should we give... I know someone guessed Hart, and he probably had one of the others correct. So do we want to add Hart into there? Can I give him a consolation uh, shout-out next video? Let me know in the comments. Because that's a close one. The save percentage is quite low. All right. Uh, anyway. So now let's move on. Free agency and Ristolainen's a righty. And I don't know why I was thinking he's a lefty the whole time. I've had him multiple times in, in franchises. In Buffalo that we did this year, obviously we had him. I don't know why. I guess I was thinking Darlene. I, oh, who knows? But anyway, Moose is here. 
He wants quite a bit of cash. One team's interested in already. And that team is Montreal, who we could easily compete with. If we crank the years down, it doesn't go up that much. And with a contract over eight, I would, I would like to give him maybe some less years. But let's take a look here and kind of try to plan out. I, I do want to get him, but this is all we got to decide about the term. And I think we're going to grab one of the uh, backup goaltenders as well. Pretty solid backup. So Rudy Balsters, we're going to need to extend. Uh, Norris, we're going to need to extend. That's going to be a bit extra cash. We have 18 mil right now. Next year, oh man, next year we're going to have like 55 mil. We're going to have Odell coming off entry. Um, Warrell should be coming off entry level soon. Uh, yeah, he's coming off this next year. Although we don't know what he's... Uh, his overall is going to be. He should get a nice jump. I don't know if it'll be first line already, which is, yeah, Barkov would be nice, but he wants way too much money, in my opinion. I, we just can't afford that. We only have 18 mil. I'd rather get a solid top two defenseman and a goaltender. And that way, we might be able to get some stat growth for one of our existing attendees and at least use him for a bit while we train up our other elites and then maybe trade him towards the end. Anyway, um, cap. I think we'll be good. I mean, we got 55 mil. And when it comes to other entry levels and other guys who were projecting to be really good. We should be pretty good. I think, yeah, someone said like four or something years. That looks like it makes a bit of sense. Takes note until he's 31. We could then get another similar three, four year contract, way more team friendly. And paying like eight, eight and a half mil right now is likely what I'll spend. If I want to be sure I'll get him, I should maybe do nine but I'd have to give him maybe less term. So I could do three by nine. If we did three by nine, I'd be a lot more comfortable with that than like a four by 8.5. Because it doesn't change from three to four. So three years takes a little to 30. Then we could for sure do a four or five year deal. That's a lot more team friendly. So I think that's a slightly better option here. Three years at nine mil isn't horrible. And we should, we're not going to break the bank with this. And when we renegotiate, we'll be maybe around the time where we're struggling for cap. So I think this is a good good kind of median contract to give him. It's well, 1.1 higher than he's asking for. Yes, the years are different, but I'm pretty sure he should sign for this. I doubt Montreal or anyone is going to be able to beat us out for that. Have been wrong before, especially when you change the term, but I think we'll be okay. All right, and now... For backups, someone said Talbot. Yeah, he would be pretty good, but I'm worried about decline. I'd rather have, I'd rather grab Mrazek, who's likely around the same overall, and we have the cash for it. I'll probably just give him one year. That would line him up with Subban at least, and I don't want to spend too much money immediately on goaltenders. And we'll see how he does. Then we could decide if we want to re-sign him for a backup role. Jerry would be nice. I think he's going to be around at 83. Can be emotional at times. Yeah, it's can't really say what the scouting. There's also Corey Crawford. We can get someone with experience. I know someone made a comment saying get Talbot because of experience. Corey Crawford will also be decent because of the experience. And... Uh, Played 66 games. He didn't do too well in a starting role last year. But we'd have him for a backup. Ah, I th I'm thinking about just going for my gut here with Mrazek. But that price is so high, it looks like he'll be listed as starter. Could even be 83. But, I mean, maybe that's good. Maybe we want two guys to split time very evenly. And we could at least turn, uh, turn it over to one of them. One or the other. So I can get four and a half. Let's see, we're spending nine. Yeah, we'll have, we'll have good money as well if we want a rental. So to be safe, I'll give him five. And it's just one year, so it won't matter a whole lot. We're spending 10 mil on goalies right now, but <laughs> whatever. Got to entice some guys to come here. So let's grab Peter Mrazek because we're kind of in that sort of a stage where we don't have an, a true number one goalie. We need another one who's competitive enough to... Uh, uh, to kind of give us a good, hopefully a decent duo, then we can maybe they'll split time evenly enough that uh, we can at least kind of figure out who we want to go with more so. And we could turn off rotations if we need to. 
and Satra. Now, did I want? I'm trying to figure out if I. All right, so we're gonna sign Moose. So we're gonna have Moose two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, no, we don't even. We would have a depth guy, should we choose? Unless I want to sign one of these. Are these guys signed? No. Okay. Let me just check. <laughs> let me do that again. All right. So I actually can see him. So if we're going to do AHL 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 right there. And assigned prospect 8. Signed 9. Oh, but this guy's going to be NHL. I believe. Yeah, I think he was the guy who was... Mm, he was high, but was he high enough? Okay, I think it was like 78 or maybe... Mm. Anyway. Yeah, we have the six right here. I mean, we could use Jaros. Jaros is pretty good. I think we'll use Jaros for depth. And then we might actually... He's down in the H. We might just play him AHL for a while. It might be slightly better. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, he'll still grow fine. Uh, AHL. You don't need to put him exactly in the role when they start off. And he's going to be sub-80. We know that, so honestly. Let's not make the mistake I did with uh, Lafreniere. I'm not going to even say we. <laughs> I usually would play guys as low as him in juniors. I don't know why I tried to be hasty with that. Anyway. So I think that's all we're going to do here. I think we need forwards, though. Yeah, as I recall, third or fourth line forward. Let's get at least one, and then I'll double check, because I think we might need two. All right. Let's find someone who's solid. Jeff Carter? <laughs> all right. Spot check, no. <laughs> Bobby Ryan. Let's skip around that. VC. I th VC's actually solid. Yeah. VC is a good defensive guy with some penalty kill capabilities. He wants a bit of money, but we have a bit of money to spend. One by two. That should be enough. Yeah, let's get that. And then we could grab someone who's really low if we need someone else. Let's let's see. I just got to double check now. I'm pretty sure that I said I needed like a third or fourth liner and maybe a depth guy. So I just need to recheck on that. Should get in the habit of maybe writing stuff down about my franchise so I don't forget in between recordings because it happens. I got a lot on my mind. So that's 12. Yeah, so it's 12. AHL, AHL. All these guys are AHL. Well, besides it's Zingle. But we might bury him as well because of morale. So yeah, we'll just need one. Yeah, that's, that's all we're going to grab. We'll be perfectly fine after that. That's it. Okay. Yep, so it is only just one. Glad I didn't go for two. Could have used one for AHL. It's not the biggest of deals, but if you can save money, save money. Again, was actually growing at a decent pace. It's not incredible, but he's growing at a decent pace. And we're going to have Hala, Aginla, then Subban, Morazic. Yeah, we're good. All right. We are set. Let's advance a few days here. Uh, no, before I do that, scouts, I'm going to check. <laughs> Let's not let anyone get signed before we need him because we let go of a scout. It was a Russian scout, I believe. So there's a B here for Russia. Or let me just, yeah, I think it was Russia. No, we, uh, that's ours. B for Russia. What was it? It was a secondary WHL scout. Yes, it was a B minus OHL scout. That's right. All right, I was doing, yeah, doing my own franchise and I actually had a Russian scout. That's, <laughs> my goodness. All right, so WHL scout. These guys can be good sometimes in juniors, so let's look for one. Mm, of course, they're all getting the queue. Oh, my God, every, everything but WHL, right? That's what we're doing here. Okay, there's one at a B, but that's not really huge improvement, but it is an improvement. That's very unfortunate. They're all good for Q. I could get one of these guys for Q and actually check if one of my Qs is good at the dub. Are you good at the dub? No. Mm. Where's the other Q? He's only a B. It's the basically the same thing and he's not good at the dub. 
Son of a bee stink. Mr. NHL, nope. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let's just have two Bs, I guess. I'm pretty sure the other guy was a B minus, so it's a slight upgrade, but it's not an incredible upgrade. We can honestly get rid of one of the uh, Q guys and sign him, so I might as well do that. So we'll sign you, fire our lowest QMJHL guy. Whoa there, that took a while. And hire you to be WHL. Yep, that'll be our upgrades this year for scouting. And we'll be done after that. I'm not going to go too crazy. I could get all these guys, but they're most, nah, they're not really good anywhere else. Besides AHL. Ben Dahan, Ben Denis. All right, lower QMJHL scout is the B. We're going to have a really good QMJHL scouting. We got an A and now an A+. Plus. So, sorry, Depre. You're really not good anywhere else, are you? B and WHL. That's yeah, not good enough. USA East. Where's my USA East? You're bad. Yeah, he's the same. So, make sure it's the right one. It is. Fire him. Goodbye. All right. So there we go. Hopefully that didn't take too long. I generally try to do all the scouting stuff off camera, but since I totally forgot to do it in the beginning, had to do it now. Don't want to put too many edits in. That would be too much work. Jesus. This menu's going slow right now. Thank you. And thank you. Now, the moment of not triumph. Moment of triumph. We got Mrazic. We got VC. Come on. Shit. Oh. The suspense. The suspense for fuck's sake. Oh, God. He doesn't like the chemistry, but the good news is he didn't sign with anyone else. Oh, my God. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit. He doesn't like the chemistry. <laughs> Fuck. Risto. Come. Okay. No one's interested in him now. So that's at least good news. Okay. He, uh,. We're going to have to really entice him then, 2 by 10. And then we can hopefully get him signed again. I could do 3 by 10 though, seriously, yeah. We'll be still safe in that regard, it's only 1 mil more. 3 by 10, okay, if he doesn't sign for that, it's a lot of money we're paying him for 3 years. But we can, off, we can get a really, a much better contract. And yes, this is Alex Nylander, not William like I was thinking before. <laughs> I just assumed it, I was just like, ah. Uh. Leafs. He's RFA. Alright, so yeah, still no one's going to go for Barkov. And we're going to have 3.8 mil about after the signing, which is enough money to keep in the bank. Come on, Risto. Get out of here. I should edit my block. Jesus. Tonev's on the block. Just get out of here. Mitch Marner was on the block, apparently. He's happier. All right, so there we go. Help some more morale issues immediately. <laughs> we still got a lot more work to do. Come on, Moose. We need you. You'll help a lot. We're, we're getting a star player here. Oh, my fucking God. <sighs> you want a locker room that has good chemistry, and you go to the Oilers. Okay. Well, we just lost out on a huge pickup. I don't know if there's much more I could have done right there besides a one-year contract for 13 mil. That sucks. That sucks a whole hell of a lot. <laughs> oh, my God. Wow. Okay. Um... Now we'll kind of have to use that young guy. Uh, I'm not going to sign buff, I don't think. Wow, that just... Well, that's what happens when your chemistry solo. That's what morale sucks, but... Okay, well, we're at least at the cap floor, but now I'm a little bit concerned about our defensive situation. It was supposed to get a lot better right here. How about our goaltenders? But it's now basically the same. We 
We can still use Jarrell's depth, but now we have to use that uh, the guy we just drafted, Peterstrom, which might not be bad, but it's not exactly what we wanted. That's just crazy. I offered him quite a bit of money, but <laughs> oh well. All right, we're just gonna have to deal with it. I'm not. I'll I'll look for a trade. Maybe there's nothing there. I'm not gonna force anything through and take up a roster spot. We'll have to look for a trade, I guess. So if we want to improve upon that, but that sucks. I tried to make a big move to kind of give my team the sense that we're trying to do something here, but no one wants to come here because of the locker room. That sucks. All right, let's sim up here and I'll try to solve that issue. All right, well, I think these are gonna be lines that we start with this year. Kachuk, Warrell, Marner, we gotta get Marner going. Warrell should be much better overall. I'm gonna start him on the first line. Second line of Balsers, Brown, and moving up Josh Norris. He does take a lot of shots. And uh, if he gets a nice little boost in his uh, overall this year, he should be good, or at least well enough set up. Good offensive awareness, a decent shot, but he shoots a lot. So I'm hoping, yeah, we're hoping that he can get pretty good. Uh, then third line, Lafreniere. We'll start him there. He might take Norris's spot, depending on growth. Uh, Batherson and Anisimov. Now, this is the guy who's a grinder. Might change him to a power forward. Um, we'll see how he does. And fourth line of VC, White, and Hyman. Now, White is a big trading chip this year. This is last year on his contract. If we want to move for you know a better defenseman, we can do that, as well as perhaps moving Peter, uh, Peterstrom down. Uh, into the AHL. We'll see where I I gotta remember what his overall is, but I'm pretty sure he was NHL ready. Uh, uh, anyway, so there's our offensive core essentially. Defensive core: Shabbat, Tanev, Odell, and Brandstrom. We'll see how they pair together. Brandstrom's gonna be on the one-time side, and then Tyrell and uh, Pedersen. Very young, very, 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 very young defensive core. Uh, we're a little worried about that, but we'll see how it works out. I was really counting on getting moose, but you know, it didn't didn't work out for us. Our chemistry is bad We got to solve that problem this year. We buried a lot of unhappy people including Zingle down in the uh, AHL <laughs> So we gotta we gotta hope and pray that we can get that better this year and do everything in our power to do so Power play Marner Warrell Kachuk with Brown and Shabbat pretty similar or exactly the same as last year Bolsters Batherson Lafreniere with Norris on the point and Brandstrom. We're gonna keep giving Brandstrom that time until he basically gets surpassed, which I believe he will, by uh, this uh, low elite that we got. And uh, maybe even Odell. Maybe Odell's a better better than both of them. But they're both could be good trading chips, but they got to get higher overall if we want to use them as tra trading chips because of low elite. Uh, here's the four mans, mostly trying to get those all the defensemen in there is what I did with the four man here. Uh, penalty kill, going with Batherson, Hyman, Tanev, Shabbat, Norris, VC. Uh, Pedestrian Odell VC has uh, historically been very good on the penalty kill in my other franchises. We'll see how he does here. And uh, there's the defensive pairings. Exact same defensive pairings here. Just let me get the... Yeah. Okay. And extras. Warrell, Kachuk, Shabbat, Tanev. War uh, Norris, Marner. I went with Norris here because he sh takes a lot of shots. Uh, Marner, then Odell, Brandstrom, and then Brown and Balsers with Tyrell, Pedestrian. Three on three, same kind of deal, except Shabbat, Odell, and Branch. I might put the other offensive defenseman here instead of Odell, but we're going to start with that. Uh, extra attacker, Shabbat, Kachuk, and shootout lineups. We don't have that many good Deacon guys, so we're starting with this for now. Goaltenders, Subban, Mrazek, and the scratches. I got this Abramov guy up here uh, to use his depth because if we have an injury, he's he should be decent defensively, but if we have an injury to that top six, he's going to be great to fill in. So that's why I'm using him here. And uh, Christian Jaros as our defensive uh, depth guy. So there's our lineup here. This needs to be a big improvement here. I want to see a nice jump from Warrell. I want to see Marner try to get that morale reset. We just need to see some growth here as much as we can. I hope Norris grows. Lafreniere too. We'll see what Anisimov turns out to be. This fourth line should be good. Colin White doesn't have any extra ice time. I might want to put him on PK. Instead of Norris, maybe for now. Yeah, I'll do that. And maybe even put him on top unit. Because Batherson's getting the ice time he needs. Just, just again, just purely for locker room chemistry. <laughs> That's literally it. That we have to solve that problem. We just have to. Gotta try to keep everyone happy here. And I'm a little bit worried about Tyrell. Him not having extra ice time. I might uh, put in... 
uh, him instead of Branch on the power play. We'll see how that goes. But for now, these are going to be our lines. <sighs> our defense was supposed to look so much better than this, but whatever. No, no sense dwelling on the past. We may be able to make a trade for uh, something in that regard. I got the scout sent out, uh, assigned some new captains for this year. We have ourselves an actual captain, no triple alternate. Hot Sam Bacho, it's time for him to step up, and I handed an alternate to Balsers and Kachuk. Last year, Balsers was listed as a presence. Now, he isn't right now, but I'm giving him that A just because he might be again. And, uh, yeah, Hot Sam Bacho, the captain. So we'll see. We'll see how this works. All right. Time to get started. Apprehensive, yes. Uh, I just, I, I really want these morales to reset, and I really want to get this friggin' locker room chemistry going in the right direction because that's been our biggest uh our arch nemesis basically this entire team is locker room chemistry I, we could be much better but it's just the locker room chemistry that's really really horrible for us so we've got to hope that we can get it right i hope i don't have goalie rotations off i don't think i do for some reason that's like nagging in my mind we're scoring well here in the preseason but it's preseason so I'm not looking too much into it. We got to be able to do that when the regular season starts, but it's looking good so far. Defenses and goaltending is another issue completely, and it doesn't look like it's amazing. Allowed a lot of goals here in some of these games. Yeah, we'll be compliant. Yep, waivers. All right, Ugh, locker room interactions. Stop it. I've already assigned my scouts. Come on, guys. Let's have a good start to this year. Get get us something. We've gained locker room chemistry. That's good. I think we won that game. They were 0-2. Yeah. We're 2 and Oh, I guess Detroit was... Oh, no. Okay. It's not for too long, but that's still unfortunate. That's... Our... God damn it. That's our elite goalie we're trying to train up here. Like his first start, I bet, too. Uh, Zimmerman might be slightly better. I don't know. Who knows? Come on now. There you go. All right, we've got off to a good start. Why did it say 2-0? Now it says 2-0. That's so weird. 3-0. We've won all of our games. So that's good. Awesome. Let's just have a bunch of injuries right now. At least it's to the AHL. That's the only bright side here. If there ever was a bright side, it's that. And I have all the guys with potential playing. So we're good on that front. We're starting off good. Okay, there's our first loss, 4-1 to loss. Now, can we turn things around? Can we just have a quick flip and get another win? They're not a good team. We got the win. Shoot out, but I'll take it. We need wins. We need to get this morale sorted. We need to be happy. Belleville's loving ice time, but we got to worry about this team's chemistry. We'll check it after the first little scouting period that we do. Okay, so not a whole lot yet. Yeah, we're not going to see too, too much. Uh, one low elite already. Oh, my God. Uh, I think this is fake. When they're that deep back and it says low elite, it feels like sometimes that they lie. Because when you pick them up, they change like an AHL something. So, don't trust those. Oh, my God. Whoa. Gens. No. This is a bad trade for us. Gensel's good and all, but no. Giving away a first and a second. All right, Klimchuk's back. We're doing good. We've started off good. We're playing good. We got to keep it going, though. This could be the year where we turn things around. Fingers crossed. All right, come on now. Come on, Ottawa. Keep it going in the right direction. Don't have a good start and then filter and then taper off. But right now, it's looking good. Defense is doing pretty good. Goaltending is doing pretty good. And we're scoring. In that game, we didn't score. I jinked us. All right, we lose, but we get a point, so it's not too bad. Goaltending doing amazing, but our offense carried. Goaltending the last couple games, though, was good. Come on. There we go. Nice victory right there. 7-2-1. Come on. End this month nicely. There we are. 2-1 to one in the shootout. 8-2-1 to start off the season. That's the kind of turnaround that we needed. Exactly. Locker room chemistry, where are you at? 69. It's better than it's ever been. Hot Sam Bacho, the captain leading the way. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Mars back to an 88. Perfect. 
Warrell's up to an 88. He's still listed as second line, but he's got nine points in 11 games played. He's scoring a decent chunk. The offense awareness at an 87. Still need it to be a little bit higher. Grow a tiny bit more than that. That's all you need. Just get me up to like 90 offensive awareness. You'll be perfect. This guy still good, would still be good for second line center if we ever picked up a true first liner. He'd be an, he'd be a couture man and a, a lineup a matchup exploiter. God, 87 faceoffs too. He can get possession. Marner's got 10 points. Okay. Kachuk's only got five. Holy hell, Kachuk. Come on now, bud. Uh, Balser's only got five. Logan Brown has only got two. His second line is kind of struggling here. Taking penalties. Six points. At least he's doing good back there on the fourth line. Interesting. Why is our points kind of all over the place? Logan Brown having that few of points is a bit surprising to me. 79 on faceoffs. 81 on He belongs there. Why does he only have two points, though? It's a bit interesting. I, is a lot of these on the power play? Yeah, three of those goals are on the power play. That makes a bit of sense. Balls are, so second line is not doing extremely good. They're not doing well at all, I should say. Power play, they're doing okay. But but you got a, a sniper, a power forward, and a two-way forward. Lafreniere, six points. You know what? He's doing well. How many of those are on the power play, though? Three of those points are on the power play with one goal. Is it time to change this guy to a power four? That's the question. He doesn't shoot at all as a grinder. 13 hits, averaging. He's not really hitting that much either. Not a big shot taker. But he's got good offensive stats and good defensive stats. I'm trying to figure out what we should change this guy to. Because it should we should change him to something. Playmaker. He doesn't really perform like a, a grinder or a power forward, so I don't know. Give me give me some suggestions. What should this guy's player type be? I don't want to. Actually, don't want to gym to a power forward because we got Brown and Kachuk. I almost might want to gym to a playmaker. He's not big. He's, hmm. But we're doing well. That's a good thing. Brandstrom is an 83. Tyrell is an 84. How's his morale doing? Yeah, he's losing it because of ice time. Okay, we're gonna have to put him in on the power play for Brandstrom. I know Brandstrom's got insane stats. He's got a good amount of points. He's got three points on the power play, but we have to worry about locker room chemistry. We just have to. We're putting Tyrell in there. Or we could switch him and keep Brandstrom on the power play, but 93-95. I think that's even better than Brandstrom. Yeah. Wow. So we'll keep Brandstrom on. He's not a plus. He's an even. Odell is at least a plus two. Tyrell and Pedestrom. He, he's listed as depth. So if we were to make a trade, I would send this guy down immediately. He is a plus two. He's doing well. But you might think that you want to play him in the uh, AHL a bit. We do have Larson that we could bring up. It doesn't look like he's pissed off anymore. He's not affected by morale. We could make that switch and, sh and test that out again. Test him back out, and he will, he will have a penalty kill time, so we can maybe keep him happy like that. That's an idea. I'm not going to make any moves right now. I kind of want to appeal to you guys about that, but we did get a lot of morale resets, so that's good. And we started off well, and that will help us not crash back down again. First line's performing well. That's who, that's, you know, we needed Marner to get back to where he needs to be, and if he could have another big season, it's exactly what we need out of him. We no, seriously, it's a need. It's not just a want. We need this year to go well. We need our guys to perform well. Yes, Eginla's back. Good. Don't get injured again, please. Dezingle's back up to an 83 as well. So we could always call him back up. I could just put him in here and it shouldn't. It should just auto-rotate him again. So it won't matter too much. Really, who swaps out for Zingle? If we trade White, that'll make sense because Batson could do fourth line. We can move Norris back to third line center, and then have Dzingel back up here. And remember, he did—he was a pretty good shooter. Lafreniere is, is still going to pretty much get up to second line, but it's yeah, could have had him better. I will admit that, but we'll see. We'll see how he does. He has a really good year. You never know. All right, slacking on the scoring a bit. I think it has to do with our second line not being huge in the production. All right, we don't want to start faltering here. We don't want to. I don't want to see a bunch of losses, but it might happen. VC injured. Oh wait, no, he's not. I guess that was just a minor. Okay. 
Uh, college, and I don't think he was out either, but let me double check because that's AHL. Nope. Okay. Come on, guys. Win that game. Damn it. All right. Not the greatest start to this month. Now it's a real god damn, dude. I got injury set to 20. Uh, it's just like happening all the time. Come on now. Get in there, son. Come on, Ottawa. Keep it going in the right direction. Don't start losing a bunch. Ugh, offense. Oh my god, don't start this now, please, please, please don't do this. I'm stopping it if we lose another game. I am stopping it if we lose again. Cannot go on a five-game losing streak. Holy fucking shit. Okay, not scoring, not doing anything. We're going to fall back down. Can't do this. Offense is an issue. Offense is a big issue. Warrell, leading in points with 15. That's great, but we're now teetering on dropping out of a playoff spot. Locker room chemistry is hurting. Second line looks like it's doing absolutely nothing by the looks of it. Yeah. Logan Brown has four points. And so why? There's always one person who's absolute trash. He's got six goals. He could, I mean, eight points is not amazing, but he could kind of be there. But now we don't have a center who can pass the fucking puck. Holy shit. Uh, you are a thief of joy, game. Oh my god, score! <laughs> we need a shooter. We just don't have a shooter on this freaking line. 29 shots in 18 games, not enough. 26 and 18, not quite enough. Norris is probably, yeah, he's got 67, but his shooting percentage is shit. But why isn't Brown producing? It doesn't make sense to me. Look at his stats. He's freaking good. He has produced in almost every other way. Or every other place he's been. He's got good chemistry with Norris. What's the issue? Mars got 15 points. Worrell's got 15. Kachuk's only got nine. Like, I don't understand, like, where, why these guys are suffering so much and so many. And Brown's on the fucking first line power play. How are you that bad? And you're on the first line power play. You got, like, how many of your points? Are, he's got two points. You've got two points playing on the second line, Logan Brown. What? This team doesn't make any sense. <laughs> really doesn't make sense. And at this point, you wonder about that first line center. Because then you imagine a first line center here. Warrell on the second line. But we need a center who would kind of shoot, right? Oh, yeah. We, we just need a lot of things, honestly. Uh, this would be a really good first line, but... Mm, Balsters has only got six points. It's really not that good either. Four of those are on the power play, so... Try something like this out. <laughs> oh my gosh. Lafreniere and Brown. And if we were to trade White for something, don't know what it would be. I think our goalies feel like they're doing good, though. Mrazek has got six games played. They're, you know, they're, yeah. they're doing, Subban's doing a lot better. We're at least doing better defensively, but now we, we're having trouble scoring. Is our issue right now. We're having a lot of trouble scoring. But we do have uh, money in the bank in that regard. Guy like Zing Dezingle in the OH, uh, AHL. But yeah, oh yeah, look at, look, at the, look at the goals for. Unacceptable. Unacceptable for the level of talent we have. Power play is good. That's the one. Oh, panel kill is amazing. Those are our saving graces. Special teams. But our five on five, our scoring in general has to go way up. Way, 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 way up. Just has to. We need more. That's an issue we have to solve. Hmm. Come on, switch to AHL. Thank you. <sighs> so if we did bring up Zingle, he's only an 83. Where would he go? Could go second line. Although... It's not looking like he's shooting a whole lot. He has done been a great scorer before, but will he be again? 
It's a big question mark. Logan Brown needs to score. I don't know why he's not. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, but he's not. That's just how it is. He's not scoring. Batherson is much better suited for that fourth line than Colin White is. But with his offense, it feels kind of bad putting him on the fourth line. Six goals in 18 games played and eight points in 18 games played. It's We just need more. We just need more from everyone. He's shooting, but Logan Brown is struggling, and I'm not quite sure why. He's got good stats. Uh, it's almost like we need this or something. I don't know if even that will be a great. Because Balsers wasn't doing incredibly either. Six points in 18 games played. So it's like, what do you do? This could get our third line perhaps much better, but no one's a shooter on that line. <laughs> it's almost like we need a second line center and keep Worrell as a first line center. So, something like this. Or, like this. And have a solid second line center who can help feed Norris the puck. We still got Brandstrom back there. He's getting nine points in 18 games play. It's not incredible, but you know he's helping out that line when he's out there. So maybe second line center is the way to go for now. But only centers coming up as a top six, red top six. Elite, playmaker, yes, far off. Uh, in the system, I don't know that we have that much more. If we uh, if we even have more like big, like guaranteed good center prospects, like that's that's one reason I was looking at uh, like yes, any of these guys could be, but Logan Brown is not performing like a second line center. Norris, he's borderline. He's a good shooter. We gotta have good guys on the wing to feed him the puck. And can but can he? Will he be good enough? Can he get to an eighty six? I'd be okay with him at eighty six. I'd like maybe a bit higher, but. All that we have in the center is one low elite who's down in the AHL, very low. And this guy who's unsigned, who could be good. He is a playmaker. Could use more offensive stats, but we, there, we're, it's still a question mark. So a placeholder would be good. Logan Brown isn't being that placeholder right now. He's listed as a third liner, so I might as well play him there because that's what he's playing like anyway. So a, would a spot filler be beneficial is what we have to ask ourselves. Maybe a couple year kind of rental type guy with one or two years left on his contract might be good because with Norris shooting as much as he is, he's bound to get goals. So leaving in there is kind of good. We can package Colin White with something else and then maybe even keep Lafreniere on the third line, but he's not going to get a whole lot of points is the issue. And I'd rather him be getting points than anyone else. Takes a decent chunk of shots. Like two per game almost. He's doing, but most of his points are coming on the power play. Again. But he's got the same, more points than Balser, so it stands to reason. But yeah, I, I think if we had a really good second liner here. Like a really solid second line center who could help train up and carry Lafreniere. So, and help feed Norris the puck. We'd have a very good third line and a pretty solid fourth line. Now, Colin White is doing good on that fourth line. But that's also the fourth line. Batherson would probably do just as well, I think. Because he's, at least on paper, better offense, better defense, better face-offs. I mean, he's got the tools. So maybe something like that. Move for something like that. So I don't know. Let me. Know. What do you guys think about that? Is that the kind of move to make? I know we kind of still need more shooters, but I believe we have a lot of those coming up in the system too. When we think about our wingers, uh, think about our prospects in general. We got some pretty good. I think we got some good guys in that regard. Uh, Kozlov, he's injured right now, but 
Uh, sniper. Doesn't have a lot of points. Oh, his fucking offense is bad. Ugh. <laughs> Let me just go by friggin' this because... Maybe not. Maybe not as much. I, th I think there are a lot of low elites, but wait, there should be higher overall ones. Quentin Mathers, he's a little on the low side. That's another grinder. Maybe not as many as I thought. I thought we got a lot of those goal scoring type guys. Havilid, 2 8. No, he's a defenseman. Kulikov, this guy's one, right? Yeah, Sniper. I mean, he's now. Oh, man. He's now listed third liner. He could even jump up. He's getting some points. Yeah, he's listed as that, but he would he'll probably have such a good year in the AHL that he'll get growth. That happens a lot when you have low leads down there, especially. Yeah, not as many as I thought. I thought we had like one or two more. But really, Kozlov having the offensive stats that he does. Yes, he has a good shot, but that awareness is very low. He he really needs to improve that if we want him to be anything special. Why is he listed as a fourth liner? He's got such crappy defensive stats. This guy's just not built amazingly. And man, he was a 13th overall pick. Huh, we kind of got some good growth, but a lot of uh, guys growing in the wrong ways. Anyway. So yes, second line center is kind of looking f like a good, good choice here. Because Marner and Warrell are doing really well together. Chuck's struggling. But we need that first line shooter. Kachuk really isn't isn't that. He has been in like for one year when he needed him to, but would he be able to step up into that if we move Warrell to the second line if we got someone way, way better for the first line? That's the question we gotta ask ourselves. So we're either gonna go for a spot filler for the second line or maybe a bit longer term investment for the first line and have Warrell be a second line center with some top power play time. So let me know what you guys think about that. This is, uh, is going to be Sin signing off. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like and I'll see you guys in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow and you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.